This is Dr. Lorna Heilidig from Heilidig's Virtual Nutrition Consulting coming to you once again. Today I have a very interesting question for you. Is intermittent fasting for you? I would like you to be the one to decide regarding this question. Now, understanding in intermittent fasting, this practice involves switching between fasting and eating on a regular basis. Basically, the focus is on when you eat. Now, this can be accomplished in several ways. Some intermittent fasters eat during a specified eight hour period and fast for the remaining 16 hours of the day. Some eat only one meal per day for two to four days of the week. Some do an alternate day fasting along with days of normal consumption. Some intermittent fasters eat normally for five days and fast for two non-consecutive days of the week. So this can be accomplished in a variety of ways. Now, why even think of doing this? What are some of the associated health benefits? Now, there is evidence that has been that has come forward from a host of animal studies with a few human studies that have been also um, involved. However, there is still need for a high quality uh, research studies in human beings. Now, what does the evidence that we have suggest so far? That there is potential for reduction in total correct cholesterol levels as well as LDL cholesterol levels and triglycerides. So this is a good thing. Uh, increase in HDL cholesterol, something that is also beneficial. Some studies also suggest reduction of insulin resistance, there, thereby improving blood glucose control. Some studies suggest fat loss and changes in overall body composition. And notably for an eight week period of intermittent fasting, a three to 7% reduction in body weight has also been observed. Another study suggests potential for reduction in inflammation, as well as another suggesting a uh, reduction in the risk of breast cancer. Now, it's always important to examine both sides of the coin, as it is with the potential health benefits. We need to also take a look at potential risks, side effects, and adverse uh, experiences or observations from those who have tried intermittent fasting. Now, based on a review of studies and information provided, the following have been suggested and observed from people who have fasted intermittently. Fatigue has been reported, for instance, poor concentration after a period of time, a tendency to overeat when not going through the fasting period, mood swings and irritability, uh, feelings of hunger pangs. And there's also the potential for development of a poor relationship with food since there, there tends to be an in, increased thoughts about food and feelings of lack of control sometimes 
in the presence of food. So these are also uh, things to think about prior to uh, making that decision to fast intermittently or not to fast. Now, one of the recommendations that I would have for you while you think about whether or not this is something good for you to do, um, always make sure that you check in with your doctor or a dietitian or nutritionist. Um, in addition to this, you know your best self, okay? You know yourself. Um, and you know what you're capable of, you know what your goals are, you know what your personality is like. So you are the best person to make this determination with some of the input you may get from professionals and from just knowing what the health benefits are and what potential risks are. And so I would like you to make that determination as I started as I started with the question, is this the best method for you? So I would love you, as I said, to make this determination. Is intermittent fasting for you? And secondary, is this the best weight management method for you? I would love to hear your thoughts on this. You can contact me at Consulting at gmail.com or on my blog at https colon forward slash forward slash www.letstalkhealthandnutritionwithdrh.com. I look forward to continuing the conversation. Thank you.